We're in Windows Server 2012. I'm going to show you how to disjoin or remove a server from a domain. So we want to start by opening up the File Explorer just by clicking on this PC in the Start menu or just by clicking on file, the File Explorer icon in the System Tray. Then we want to right click on this PC and go to Properties. And from here, we want to click on Change Settings. Now let's go ahead and click on the change button and we can see we're joined to a domain. So all we have to do is click on work group and typically we just join it to a work group called work group, although you can call it whatever you want. And when you're done, just go ahead and click OK. And it's saying after you leave the domain, you need to know the password for the local administrator account. But don't worry, I'll help you with that. Go ahead and click OK. And after a few seconds, you may get a pop-up with a password. There it is. Go ahead and type the administrator username and password. And after about 30 seconds, you'll get a welcome to the work group message. It says you have to restart. We'll click close and we'll choose to restart later. And now we want to go to the control panel, click on administrative tools, and go to computer management. Now we want to go to local users and groups, go to users, and we see our administrator account. From here, we click set password, proceed. Click OK, and now it's been set. So you only do this if you don't know the administrator password to the local server. Since you've been using the administrator password for the domain, that's certainly a possibility. So before you restart, you want to make sure that you reset it to something you know. Now we can go ahead and restart the server, and we can log in locally, and then we can promote this computer to be a domain controller or to join another domain.